Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of the series on Rotten Tomatoes Data Project. Let's take a look at the data project assignment and then let's get started. The assignment is to build a high performance classification algorithm to predict whether a particular movie on Rotten Tomatoes is labeled as Rotten Fresh or Certified Fresh. So far we have completed data pre-processing, used default and weighted random forest models to enhance the accuracy of the model by accounting for class weights in imbalanced data. If you've not watched our previous videos, check out the link in the description box below. Now that we've trained our random forest model to predict the sentiment of a movie review, let's use it to make some predictions on the movie status. In order to classify a movie status, we'll follow these steps. Gather all reviews from a specific movie. Use our random forest model to predict the status of each review that is fresh or rotten. And finally, apply the rule-based system described on the Rotten Tomatoes website to classify the final status of a movie based on the overall review status. Rotten Tomatoes classifies a movie as fresh if it receives at least 60% positive reviews. Meanwhile, it classifies a movie as rotten if it receives less than 60% positive reviews. Following this rule, we'll use our random forest model to predict the status of each review. Next, we'll sum the total number of reviews classified as fresh by the model and then divide it by the number of total number of reviews. If the result is above 60, then the movie is classified as fresh, otherwise it is rotten. Now let's create a function to compute the steps described above. First, let's create a function called predict movie status that takes a predictionary as input. Next, we calculate the percentage of positive reviews that is fresh and store it in the positive percentage variable. Then we determine the movie status based on the positive percentage value, assigning either fresh or rotten to the prediction variable. And finally, we print the percentage of positive reviews and predict the movie status. And this will finish our custom function. So now that we have the code, let's run that. So in this example, we're going to predict the status of three different movies, Body of Lies, Angel Heart, and The Duchess. So let's start with Body of Lies. First, let's combine all of the reviews associated with Body of Lies movie. So here we've gathered all the reviews of the movie Body of Lies and also we are going to display the first few rows of the filtered data frame. So here are the first few rows of the data frame. Now that we have all the reviews, it's time to use the random forest model to predict the status of each review. After that, we'll use a custom function that we defined earlier to predict the final status of the movie. So here we are using the RF weighted model to predict the status of each review of Body of Lies after transforming the text data into vectors. And we're using the vectorizer.transform method for that. And then we call the predict movie status custom function to compute the final movie status based on these predictions. Here's a code. Now let's run that. Oops, looks like it's a bad movie. Well, at least it's rotten. So the output shows that the positive reviews predicted by the model make up just about 50.5%. As a result, the body of lies is classified as rotten. But we need to validate this. And to do that, let's compare it with the ground truth status of this movie. And that comes from the DF merge data frame. So let's do that. So this code retrieves the ground truth status from the DF merge data frame. Now let's run this and we find out that. So the output confirms that the ground truth of the body of lies is rotten, which matches a prediction made by our model. So in this case, it's correct. Now let's move on to Angel of Heart movie. So following the same procedure as before, we will gather all the reviews corresponding to Angel Heart first. Next, we predict the status of each review and compute the portion of positive reviews predicted by the model. So the same way we're gathering all the reviews and using the head method to review the first few lines of the reviews. So the following code filters the data frame to include only the reviews for the movie Angel Heart and also reviewing the first few rows of the filtered data frame. And here are the first few rows. Now let's predict the status of each review and compute the portion of positive reviews predicted by the model. So here in this code, we are again using the RF weighted model to predict the status of each review of the movie Angel Heart after transforming uh, the text into vectors using the vectorizer transform method. And then again, we're using the movie um, predict movie status 
custom function to make the prediction. Alright, looks like the movie is fresh. The output shows that the positive reviews occupy 61.11% of the total reviews. So, Angel Heart is classified as fresh by our model. Now, let's check the ground truth label of this movie. So, let's uh, retrieve the ground truth status for Angel Heart from the DF merged table. And the output confirms that our model again predicted the movie status correctly. So, now let's go on and uh, make prediction for the movie The Duchess. Following the same steps, filtering all the reviews and displaying the first few rows of the filter data frame and here's the output now let's predict the status of each review and compute the percentage of positive reviews we're using the rf weighted model after transforming the text into vectors so the output shows that the positive reviews occupy just over 60 percent um that's just over the threshold resulting in a fresh prediction now let's check the ground truth Great, the output reveals that the ground truth label of this movie is also fresh, which means that our model's prediction is correct again. Now, although the model's prediction is fairly accurate, the random forest model that we have trained is not quite optimal, and there is plenty of room for improvement. How about we discuss some hints of how to enhance the performance of our model. So our model's performance can be increased according to our project needs and computational power by following these steps. Number one, train the random forest classifier model with a larger data set. So in our case, we started with just about 5,000 data points uh, as opposed to 100,000. Point two, adjust the hyperparameters of the random forest model. Number three, experiment with different machine learning algorithms. And number four, modify the method used to represent our text data. And that brings us to the end of this exciting journey into the world of Rotten Tomatoes movie rating predictions. We hope that you found this series insightful and engaging. Throughout this series, we explored two different approaches to predicting movie status, using numerical and categorical features, and also by analyzing review sentiment. We also implemented various machine learning algorithms such as decision tree classifier, random forest classifier, and the weighted models. While our models were not perfect, we demonstrated that the potential for using machine learning techniques to predict movie ratings on Rotten Tomatoes is there. Furthermore, we discussed several performance improvement tips to help you fine-tune the models and achieve better accuracy. If you want to test it yourself, you can find the link to this project from our platform in the description below. Remember, there's always room for improvement and we encourage you to experiment with these techniques and see what works best for you. Machine learning is an exciting and ever-evolving field and exploring its applications in the realm of movie ratings is just the beginning. Thank you for joining us in this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on machine learning, data science, and other fascinating topics. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. We're always happy to hear from our viewers. Until next time, happy coding and may the best movies find their way to your watch list.